Hi, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Connected Body Podcast. Today, I am super excited to have a special, special guest. Her name is Liz Lehman, and she is a doctor, a candle maker, and also the founder of Illuminate Life. So Liz, welcome to the Connected Body Podcast. Thank you so much for having me, Laura. I'm excited to be here. I'm so happy because I'm so passionate about essential oils, candles, crystals. And when I found you on the internet, I was like, oh my gosh, I've got to reach out and reach out. I did. And here we are. Yeah, and it was meant to be. <laughs> it was meant to be. So you have an amazing story. So why don't you share how you went from doctor, candle maker? So, yeah. So for over 20 years, I was an anesthesiologist. And in that space, um, anesthesia is very much based in like, there's a disease or problem, there's a drug you inject. It's like problem, medicine, problem, medicine, which is important in the operating room. But throughout the course of that and taking care of people, we could fix them in the operating room and then they go right back out into their lives and continue to do the same thing that landed them in a disease state in the first place. Right. So I was questioning <laughs> really <laughs> every concept they teach you in medical school <laughs> and, and thinking like there's got to be a better way to do things. And at the same time, not being fully fulfilled with my job. And then looking for other things that brought me joy at the time was a lot of physical movement. So running, I got into the yoga space, but doing like a lot of yoga mm -hmm. um, and, and ignoring what I preach now, ignoring all the signs, ignoring my body and what my body was telling me, like, slow it down, slow it down yeah. um, to the point where I kept going. I tore my hamstring badly. <laughs> So it was, I know now, a sign, the universe saying, Liz, you need to sit down and stop doing yeah. what you're doing, be still. Um, but in that space of being forced to be still, I was sitting on a frozen water bottle and on the computer, probably shoe shopping or something, but a blog <laughs> popped up on, right? Um, a blog popped up on making candles. And I swear I had never read a blog before because, you know, being super type A person who has time for such nonsense. Right. But I thought, well, I can't do anything for the next four months. What is this all about? I never even considered that you could make a candle. So mm -hmm. I clicked on that blog, read it, and Amazon a candle making kit that day. I gotta love which, Amazon. Right. You gotta love it. Immediate, you know, gratification. But in that space of doing the research and how to make a candle, I was first appalled at how bad so many candles on the marketplace were that I'd been burning around my family. Um, and also being a doctor, I wanted to make a better product and a product that healed you and made you feel more complete and kind of a more holistic way of, of living and being and, you know, meditating and just slowing everything down. All the things that I had not been doing, I wanted to create for someone. And yeah. so that little kitchen experiment turned into a business. Oh, that's, that is beautiful, right? The universe was like sending you these signs and sometimes they have to send us a few signs. Oh, yes, they did. And I, <laughs> they, I, I still was doing, <laughs> I was not practicing what I was preaching. So I was waking up at three in the morning to make candles before going <laughs> to work in anesthesia. You know, I, I still didn't quite get it. Right. Um, and eventually the other sign came, which was I started developing arthritis in my hands, mm. um, which I, of course, blew off, did not listen to that sign until a day right. came where I physically could not put a patient to sleep. Patient wow. did fine. Someone else was there right. to help out. So I was like, all right, I need to have the surgery that had been recommended on my right. hand now. Um, but that was really the last day I ever practiced anesthesia because the surgery wow. did not go well. Mm -hmm. Um, and subsequently I had three surgeries on my hand to try to mm. fix what 
happen on the first surgery. So again, the universe wow. sat me down forcefully saying, <laughs> yeah. you are not meant to be doing this anymore. And we're going to have to <laughs> basically take a hand away to show you yeah. how to pivot your life. So yeah, that happened when I was 50. Um, so you can reinvent everything you're doing. Yes. Hopefully you don't have to go through su- three surgeries to do it. Right. But, um, yeah, listen to the signs. I'm much more aware now than I was. <laughs> I, I love that. And I think in the space that we're both in, people are starting to be more aware and listening and, and taking a moment instead of going, 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 you know, it's so important. So important. It is. There's a real art. And, and for me, I had to learn it. And I think a lot of people do just the art of kind of slowing down and going for a walk without it being like a power walk to burn calories while you're listening to a podcast on how to live your life better. Like just be outside and soak in the nature. That's where the benefit is, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's where the body can start to slow down and just regenerate. So that's beautiful. Yeah. I love that. I know you dabbled a little, if I remember correctly, when you were younger or your mom was in candle making. Well, so she always burned candles. She was always lighting candles. And I was drawn to them, you know, even mm-hmm. as a child. Like, I, I don't know. I wanted to put my fingers in the wax and I would make little, like, wax I called yeah. them little wax couplets, little molds yeah. on my fingers in there. And she used to have the pillar candles. So I would like pull mm-hmm. the wax back and mold it. And she it. reminded me, I totally forgot this, but she was like, do you remember? I told you again and again, like, stop playing in my candles. You're ruining my candles. <laughs> and she said, Did you know what you said? I said, no, I don't remember that. She said, that I answered that I couldn't help it, that I just needed to be by the candles. So intuitively, yeah, your body knew. My body knew at some deep cellular inner being level. That's what I was supposed to be doing. Just took me 50 years to get there. (laughs) Well, you're here. We're so happy that you, you did. So thank you. Let's touch a little. We touched a little bit, but really... The difference in a toxic candle and your candles illuminate light. Sure. So, you know, there's a lot of different waxes out there. Um, I use a coconut wax as a small amount of soy, but coconut wax is a natural product. Um, Some waxes have paraffin in it, which is a cheap petroleum derivative. Um, And they can smoke and soot more. It's not, it's not a natural product, you know, Um, and beeswax is a natural product, but that wax really is not good for beehives and pollination and you can run into environmental issues there. Mm -hmm. For me, I think that the coconut wax is a both natural, but it also gives a superior scent throw when the candle's being burned. Mm-hmm. And because it burns at a slower temperature, your candle's going to last you longer. So, right. you know, not, and I wanted to put essential oils in the candles instead of synthetic fragrances. I did find that not every essential oil is burn compatible um, mm-hmm. when you know, in the kitchen experiment phase, the wax caught on fire. (laughs) Super fun. Um, A lot of trial and error or trial and lessons, really. Yeah. Um, There are no mistakes, really, in life. Um, But so, yeah, we do sacrifice um, some essential oil for a natural fragrance. And something else I learned, like not every essential oil is sustainably harvested. Yes. So yes. there's a lot of things to consider when you're putting a product together to kind yeah. of make it be burnt, you know, clean burning and give you those essential oil benefits. And there's a lot of check boxes then. And we don't always yeah. see like, no, how many chemicals and things are in right. our product. 
That's right. And that's huge. And I think that's a, the beautiful thing about what you're doing is you're bringing that awareness to people because they'll go to a store. They like this, you know, bourbon scented candles, smoke, blah, blah, but they have no idea what it's made out of or what they're breathing into their lungs and what it's doing, the chemicals in their bodies. Right. Yeah. And so I, I work very closely with a fragrance company now who they uh, they actually educated me too on some of the I, I even don't like the term but I'll say it a safe synthetic but they're like because they've manufactured it to remove some of the toxic things so that it mm -hmm. does burn cleaner so that you don't have the the right. smoking and you know putting any bad chemicals into your air so yeah. it's a partnership between us as well that I hope to deliver right. to anybody who lights a candle. All right. Well, let's talk candles now. So I'm having a retreat this Saturday and Liz from Illuminate Life has been so generous and donated. I want to show everybody these beautiful I Desire candles for our ladies. You can see it here. It says I Desire. Comes with a beautiful pen and you write your desire on there. And it's not smell a vision, but Oh my gosh, smells good. And you can see the crystals in there. So tell us about this. Yeah, so in all of our products, they all have crystals in them as well. You know, and as a child, I was one of those little rock collecting kids and doing like the family trips and where they always had those bins with all the gemstones when you stopped at yes, like the travel yes. plazas. And you know, if you're old enough to recall those family road trips, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. And so I would always beg my mom, you know, can I get another? They had the velvet pouches to yeah. put the crisps in. And she's like, you have so many. Stop. Um, I had kind of forgotten a little bit about in my science brain and like rocks and crystals and crystal healing and how they yeah. make you feel. Um, until I did my yoga teacher training and the very first, a girl, a woman next to me, we were in downward dog and all of these crystals come pouring out of her sports bra in the very oh, first like, downward dog all over the mat, all over the room. And I thought, oh my gosh, what did I just sign up for? These people are crazy. Um, and it, you know, again, I was still in that science mentality and now Every product has those crystals and we intentionally choose the essential oils in the products mm -hmm. to pair with the healing benefits of the crystals, kind of maximize Beautiful. healing. So yeah. the I desire candle that you showed um, was my improvement on a New Year's resolution because I really feel um, resolutions are like what you've been doing wrong, not... Mm -hmm how you want to intend to live your life. Mm -hmm. So that candle is an opportunity for you to create a ceremony or a mm -hmm. practice, um, something that brings you joy that you want more of in your life. You write it down. It becomes an affirmation, a mantra, mm -hmm. just like a more clear defined way of living better. I love that. I love that. Oh, we are going to show be using these and manifesting. I'm speaking about manifesting. Came with the manifest candle. <laughs> Perfect timing. Right, right. So, and that one has um, tiger eye crystal. It has citrine in it and some clear quartz. Clear quartz is the crystal that um, sort of the master healer. It amplifies the power of other crystals. Clear. Yeah. That's clear quartz. Tiger mm. eye is like amazing for creativity, mm -hmm. for strength, for fortitude, for really powerfully calling in what you want more of. Mm -hmm. And citrine yeah. is like abundance and joy and it's just a happy crystal. So I'm like, that's what you need when you're like yeah. wanting to make something happen. Something. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. We have, they even have matches in here how cute is that they come with their own little matches and a little explanation down here yeah. of everything so you like thought of everything this is why oh i love it all i love it all and then, <laughs> wait wait there's more <laughs> i also have this one which is cheer i'm going to show everyone i'm going to put it down here 
because I really want people to see how beautiful, and these make great gifts for people. Oh my gosh. Like a housewarming gift or a birthday gift. This one woo, has the candle and it has the reed diffuser. Yeah. How beautiful is that? And I set it up over here. That was one of our holiday scents. <laughs> which, oh, beautiful. Thank you. Um, and I'm excited because we're launching actually manifest in that mm. candle is our set, which again, perfect for, you know, somebody who, for, for you, you know, personally, yes. but also a great gift for someone yes. who you, is kind of transforming their life. Yes. So I think it's, and a, yeah, powerful. I'm excited about that. That's the fun so part. So powerful. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I know you also on your website, illuminatelife.com, and we'll put all the links down below the show notes, but um, you have eBooks people can sign up for. Tell us about those. Yeah. So I want people to learn. I want knowledge to be out there and I want it to be accessible and free. And, you know, I'm always on the path of learning. I want everybody else to start like walking on that path as well and picking and choosing what direction obviously they're going to go on. But we have some affirmation ebooks on our website, as well as guides for, you know, crystals, links to some of our blogs with essential oil information, yeah. just trying to distill everything down to make, make it easy, make it easy to incorporate these little ways to live better and feel better about yourself. Um, I love it. And what it's all about, right? Oh, I, I mean, love it. The, the woman who said she never wanted to, didn't read a blog, now has a blog. I know, right? <laughs> Isn't that crazy? It just, yeah. And the and the woman who was like, I don't have time to meditate. Who does that? Like, I can't make it through the day without like taking even five minutes in the morning yeah. just to clear my mind and, you yeah. know, reestablish a mindset that I want to carry me through the day. Yeah. So, yeah. Change is possible. <laughs> yeah, set it. Change is possible, and reinventing yourself at any age. I've spoken about that a lot, and in my life too. Um, all right, we have collections. So I know you have different collections. You have she's got everything, guys. She's got roller balls with the essential oil with gems in them. They're absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Thanks. Um, yeah, those I are know. Fun. Those are really yeah. fun, and we um, some of our. We have some wholesale accounts, so our products are available in a lot of spas and wellness spaces, which, you know, I think really is where our product is targeted. You know, it's for about feeling yeah. better in your yeah. mind, in your body. So, yeah, the roller balls are great um, with traveling. And when we went through that whole COVID thing, yeah. you know, you had to wear the mask, I would like put calm, calm all over. <laughs> yeah. You know, but it's it's an easy way for you when you're on the go to just have a moment of um yes. resetting. Yeah, I love that. I love that. They're so beautiful. Um I know also that you've partnered with I believe it's Girls on the Run. Yeah. Right? Tell us about that. It's one of our partners we give back to. So a portion of all of our uh, website sales is going to this organization. They're international, um, but based in the U.S. And what they do is they establish programs for girls starting in like elementary school where they encourage and set physical activity goals, like through running, through races, through team building that really build self-confidence you know, a lot of our kids now, they're not as active as they were. And a lot of schools have cut, you know, recess and playtime out of their day. So these are programs where they will take kids who would rather be playing a video game and, and give them the tools to know that they can succeed. Okay, you're going you're gonna to run around the lap the three times. And they're like, oh, I can't possibly. And they encourage them to do it. Right. And then see that like anything is really possible it's yeah. just kind of helps them yeah I love that Liz. that's strong women yeah 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 it's so important I can't believe that they would take away recess no, oh my gosh I it's so important and arts and all yeah. of the things. yeah it's it's yeah. a problem yeah 
All right. So share with us where we can find you on the internet so people can come and see these beautiful, beautiful. Oh, thank you. Sure. So illuminatelife.com is our website. It's A-L-U-M-I-N-A-T-E, L-I-F-E, one word. Um, on Instagram, which we also put a lot of great free educational content out on that, it's Illuminate Life Rx. And also on mm-hmm. Facebook, Illuminate Life Rx. Because, you know, it's a prescription, but a uh, prescription, <laughs> the abbreviation is Rx, but for living better. No I medication love involved. I love that. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for being on the Connected Body Podcast, Liz. Thank you. I love everything you're doing, Laura, to connect mind and body. So keep doing thank what you're you. doing because it's oh. so important and great. Right? Each each of us make a ripple effect in the world. That's the beauty of it. All right, everyone. We'll see you on the next episode of the Connected Body Podcast. Bye-bye. Bye.